things are has been like escalated now the concerns are just growing with e-scan it's like oh my gosh like so severe where it's like i have to let's do a c-section but she said that she can i'll get steroids and all of that that will help div with long development and you know baby will get the best care and good da -da. morning guys good morning good evening whatever time it is that you're watching <laughs> why do i feel like a radio no sorry no um guys <clears throat> judging from the crusty voice you know it's early in the morning i'm about to make my move head to work Ooh, this is us 25 weeks pregnant so happy sorry i had to cut the video off because um <laughs> i was waiting for shakayla to get something from the house because she forgot something and I was like, you know what, while I wait for her, I'm gonna start the vlog. But yes, anywho, we are 25 weeks, and today I actually have a scan. Um, you know I'm doing like regular scans, if you forgot, because of the uh, concerns with baby girl and, you know, a growth and stuff like that. Um, so today is just a, another follow-up scan because, you know, I did the glucose test and that came back clear. I don't have, you know, gestational diabetes. So, yeah, today is just another follow-up scan just to see, you know, how baby's doing and all of that stuff. So, I'm quite excited about that. You know, last night I was like saying, oh my gosh, I haven't felt her move throughout the night like I usually do guys these babies when you're pregnant right it is such a it's so stressful sometimes like nerve-wracking because you're like are you okay in there and you're like jiggling them and you know you just feel like it's something wrong but you know it's like i'm not gonna stress i'm sure she's fine and then this one i woke up and she was in there moving kicking away and everything and i was like I couldn't help but smile. I just smile. It's like the biggest relief ever. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that. Anyways, uh, make sure you leave me a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I'm SK. Hope you stick around and enjoy the rest of the video. Um, I guess I will see you guys at the hospital because I'm going to go straight from work to do it. So see y'all at the hospital i hope you guys are doing okay i hope you guys are doing fantastic as usual yeah so comment leave me a comment down below let me know how you guys are doing and we'll catch up in the comments see y'all at the hospital i am here at the hospital now and yeah i see this guy proper cloudy and everything place according to the angolian folks would say the place bank up i <laughs> just was on the phone with melissa talking about that with the door open yeah so i'm going in for my appointment i am exactly exactly on time i have like three minutes well i have like three minutes to get there but it's just right here on my right so that's fine i'm hoping that everything is fine and they're gonna tell me that her growth is like normal now because this thing don't work though, you know oh it's working now just waiting for them to let me in yeah so i guess i will speak to you guys after can you guys even see me oh this is better have a mom what do you want patients have moved to water too. what is what do you mean i have to go through this why does it look so different I'm waiting. Oh, hi. Are you okay? Do I have my scan with you now at 3 o'clock? What's your name? Shana K. Henry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's good timing. <laughs> That's the doctor who's going to scan me. Just there. Should I wait? Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah? Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Guys, I am back at home. I'm so tired right now. I have no idea. I haven't even changed my clothes yet. Oh my gosh. And look at me. 
Oh gosh. Anyways, y'all. Yeah. Um. So basically, things are has been like escalated now. The concerns are just growing. With each scan, it's like, oh my gosh. So she's still measuring big. She's actually over the 99 percentile. So she's big. The worry now is that I have too much fluid. So I have too much amniotic fluid, um, which I say is not good. They're a bit worried about that. Um, but I've been referred to a specialist. Um, so it's a special hospital that I have to go to to see a specialist because consultant, he said that he needed a second opinion. There's a lot of other details too that I don't really want to get into because I just want to go see the specialist and see what's going on. Like I think that option of seeing a specialist is it's just great. I'm glad that um, he's referred me to see the specialist. I'm going to have to do a series of tests and stuff like that to rule certain things out because there's like other things that's going on you know and like he did tell me but all in all i'm okay i'm not like i'm not gonna worry you know i'm I, i'm okay just want that done with so that should be within the next few days i should get an appointment the hospital is far away as well so yeah but i'm tired so i'm not talking like this because of like i feel down or anything not really i just that i feel tired and I was just looking at um, her picture because I did get a glance of her face today. And um, he sort of printed me off a picture just so I can have something because, you know, her 20 week, for the 20 week scan, she was like face down and that picture was not like 100% clear. So, yeah. So anyways, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow or something. Or I might just do this video, continue this video after I've had the scan. I'm not sure. We'll see. But either way, just wanted to update you guys on the outcome of um, the scan today. Which I know is not like much because I don't know much and I don't want to like put things out there until I've seen the specialist and stuff like that. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning from us. <laughs> Hold on. Come a bit closer to me. Come a bit closer to me. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. This is actually a few days later. So today is Saturday. I actually had my scan yesterday at this with the specialist. Um, when I went for the first one, that was on a Wednesday and the referral it actually came through really quick they said that they would have contacted me within five working days but really they contacted me like the next day so they contacted me thursday and asked me if i can come in friday like the very next day for the appointment i suppose they treat it as um urgent which is great so i went in on friday for the scan it was it was a good distance away like i told you guys it's in oxford yeah it's a hospital over in oxford and yeah so we drove there got there's like a huge hospital compared to the hot my local hospital the hospital over there is quite huge they have like several floors so it is quite big so got there to the appointment it was a very very detailed scan and probably lasted like i would say over an hour I did blood tests and all of that as well um, prior to going. Remember I said there was like a few things that I didn't mention because as I said, the consultant, they, they have like growing concerns. You know, they use like a lot of medical terminologies and sort of different types of possible diagnosis and all of that. That Yes, so I, you know, I didn't go into, you know, all the details from the, my scan on Wednesday apart from saying that. You know she was still measuring quite large for her gestational age which is at 25 weeks you're probably watching this video and i'm 26 weeks pregnant but i'm filming this currently at 25 weeks so because of the consultant's growing concern he's like i'll refer you to a specialist so got to the specialist you know she ruled out one of the uh, things that the first consultant um was saying that he what he thought it could be because he wasn't sure um, apart from her being large, it was something else that they found, but she ruled that out and that actually made me just somewhat relieved. They're concerned about the size for one. I've had two babies prior to her and they both weigh six pounds some. 
So my first baby was six pounds, 11 ounces, and my second baby was six pounds, six ounces. She's 25 weeks, uh, right now 25 weeks. She's measuring to weigh two pounds, nine ounces, which is ahead of, you know, what it should be. So when, as soon as the specialist started to scan me, she noticed that like, yeah, you do have a lot of fluid. But she explained to me, you know, sometimes when you have excess fluid, the reason for that as well is because my baby is on the bigger side. So the bigger the baby, the more water is going to surround her. Now, the problem with that, you know, if it's um, like she keeps getting bigger and bigger, if they're, um, the scan is, if the measurements are correct, and I keep getting more water, they can possibly drain some of that water if it becomes very uncomfortable for me or if my stomach is really growing and it gets tight and I'm struggling like even with breathing and stuff. And what that what can happen as well when that happens before I get to full term, I can actually go into early labor because basically it's like my body will be like at a stage where it will think that oh wow it's time it's time to give birth so then it, it will put like a lot of pressure on my is it my cervix something like that um it will cause my water to break early if i have too much fluid it can cause my water to break quite early so if that keeps if i keep accumulating all this water she keeps getting bigger and bigger well before before i reached 40 weeks they can possibly drain some of that fluid the consultant also mentioned one other thing that they think it could be because we were so concerned about you know they kept mentioning the size of her and all of that and she thinks it could be something else i don't remember the term that they used but they wanted she would like to test for that if we're okay with it it's a test that they would do after 30 weeks right the needle test which is taking fluid or something like that i think i mentioned that in the previous video um to test to see if that's a diagnosis they can give before she's born and then the other thing is that she said it could be that you're just having a bigger baby but you know they want to just make sure in case they miss something because what if i'm not what if the baby is not just big on her own like that they just want to know that okay it's either genetics or it's something else that they suspect you know that it could be as well um with that i sean and i talked about it and i don't think it's something that we would like to proceed with not at 30 weeks because i can go into preterm labor you know um because i i asked her i said what about the risk and she said yes it's possible that you can go into preterm labor but she said that she can uh, get steroids and all of that that will help with long development and you know baby will get the best care and da 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 and i'm like 30 i'm like okay but she'd be like in intensive care is that what you call it in the NICU and i'm like i'm not i don't i don't want to do that you know because if it's just something that they're trying to rule out and then i go and like i proceed with that and then she's born like early and you know when they're born early you, you can get all sorts of complications you know and then it turns out that damn she was just on the bigger side and she's completely normal she's completely healthy and it's like i went and i put her through that for nothing you know so there's that side and it's like whatever they think it is it's not harmful and something like that because i said she can if you still suspect it at birth that that's what's happening she can you can test for that after she's born right it's not like it's gonna be this dire like big emergency like oh my god put this baby on this 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 it's not going to be like that so it's like when you look at the pros and cons it's like yes it would be good to know i guess sometimes it's good to know to rule out certain things but she's like it's good to test for that in case it is something else so that they know how to manage her at birth and after that like sooner without having to wait for tests after she's born do you know what i mean but judging from the way she's talking it's not like she's gonna be born and we're gonna be facing like complications and all of that stuff do you know what i mean so right now my next worry is that she is really just on the bigger side and i've never given birth to a big baby 
and i want to be faced with a decision what if i get to like almost full term and they're like oh she's measuring like nine pounds something and something because you know my breathing i'm starting to the heavier i get right now it affects me lying down my breathing is affected it's like i told you guys i feel like i can't breathe even during the scan i couldn't she couldn't conduct the scan with me lying on my back even though i was more upright i had to lie on my side because i'm just struggling to breathe and she also noted that it was me mostly the position of the baby and the size of her as well so if that continues to happen like i don't know if i will be able to and i know some of you guys are be like girl just hush like my baby was nine pounds and i pushed out my baby but it's just again uh like i'm saying it's it's how i feel and like getting really tired and out of breath it's like i cannot breathe so you know there will be that concern so i'm hoping that by the time i get to that stage like so severe where it's like i have to decide like make a decision and be like you know what let's do a c-section but anyways i'm not gonna think like that i am just going to trust in the lord you know that's what we have to do and whatever happens happens and we just deal with it um and not stress about it too much i'm actually doing okay i'm not trying to stress about it or anything do you know what i mean so i have a follow-up scan i think sometime next month or something where they'll continue to monitor that she also had to like have a look at my cervix and all that and make sure that you know everything was still kind of the way it should be um yeah so that's all that's all the update i'm gonna do for now um because i really don't want to go too deep into things and like open up this can of worms and you know i know how the internet can be and i don't i yes yeah, sir so i'm just gonna just just wait and and just see you know what's going to happen but i mean all in all the scan turned out it's it, it was it was okay apart from you know hearing that side of things she was just so happy during the scan as well it and i think that's why it the scan took so long because she was just overly active when i say she was overly active she was overly active i'm not even joking i'm not even joking she was like very very active but that's okay um, I was happy. I saw her face. We even saw her mouth. Oh my gosh. Like her lips. She's got like full lips. Rival's lips were not that full. Let's put it that way. But it looks full. And I was like, oh my gosh, are those my lips? <laughs> saw her, I saw her little nose. And oh my gosh, she was, there, she was there like drinking fluid as well and like saw her hands and just all the movements and stuff it was just so amazing to see i wish i could have just recorded that so i could just always have that but you know i'll keep you guys in the loop you know because it's a journey that you guys are on with me we're in this together so i will make sure to keep you guys in the loop and you know we'll see y'all but for now just you know wish us well love you guys as always and Thank you for listening to me. I'm about to go and take a shower. I'm in my robe because I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Have yourself a wonderful... Hi, look who's kicking, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care of yourselves. Bye.